Sales down, but you don't know why? Let's see what your data has to say about it. All companies hit sales plateaus throughout their growth cycles. Leveling up requires an examination of what's working and what's not, which is where data comes in. Today, we're going to examine a simple CRM data export to uncover trends and outliers that allow the sales team to focus energy where it will have the biggest impact on revenue. What I've done here is export some sample data from our CRM. I've obviously randomized and changed around the names of different clients just to protect their anonymity. But in general, you can see I've broken things out by sales, number of invoices, average invoice, what their service category was, what industry category they're in, and then some location information as well as whether or not they're an active customer. Today, we're gonna do a quick 80-20 analysis on some key areas based on revenue. I'm a big fan of visualizing data, so what I'm going to do is grab things like service category by revenue and create a quick pie chart just to give us an idea for what's performing well and what isn't. Go ahead and do the same thing with your CRM and follow along as I go through each section. What I'm going to do to start is look at this service category and I'm just going to pull everything from the top down here and select all of those and then I want to compare that with our total sales for each of these service categories. Scroll back up to the top and then click insert chart. And that's going to generate a column chart. For our purposes, I want to look more at a pie chart breakdown. And we'll go ahead and aggregate these different variables so that you know advertising isn't showing up every single time as its own uh, slice of the pie, so to speak. And what I can see from this is that of all the categories, marketing is by far our largest service category, followed by web design and advertising. And the culmination of each of these three categories appears to be about 80% of our total sales. Now the rest of it, consulting and hosting and maintenance, to me, from a revenue standpoint, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I know at our core, really, we should be focusing in on marketing, design, and advertising as the core service offerings that we're targeting. I'm going to go ahead and pull this graph over here just for reference. And I could even like create a little bit of a dashboard here. Let's merge these headings and we'll call this uh, service category breakdown. And let's let's center it and bold it. All right, so the next thing I want to look at is industry category, and we're going to follow the same process that we did for the other one. Pull up service industry category, and then we'll pull up total sales. Insert another chart, and follow the same process. Move this to a pie chart, and aggregate the values. So in here, it's, it's quite a bit more diverse, but again, you know, we're looking at our core service offerings, health and wellness, professional services, retail and manufacturing are by far the largest gem revenue generators for the company with the remaining say like 10 to 15 percent making up these other offerings. Let's go ahead and pull this up here and let's do the same thing. We'll, we'll break this out, merge this and we'll call this industry category breakdown bold it and center it so the last section we're going to look at is going to be geography and in this case we're just going to look at states uh, we are a national company we, we do service a lot of folks in north carolina so you'll see that be skewed there but uh, you know we do offer things in uh, in other states in within the u.s so i'm going to grab this we're going to insert a new chart Looks like it defaulted the histogram. We're going to go back to our pie chart here, click aggregate, and then we'll remove this title. Looks like Michigan, North Carolina, and Ohio tend to be the areas where we're getting the most revenue out of those clients. We'll go ahead and break that down there, and this will be regional breakdown. For us, this helps us refine down on the ideal buyer. For instance, rather than trying to sell somebody consulting services, 
we focus most of our efforts on these other services being web design, definitely leading with marketing, advertising, and then also offering hosting plans. Under the industry category, one thing that we didn't realize before was how significant our health and wellness market was. And given that this represents nearly a third of our overall sales, we have recently redoubled our efforts on targeting different people in the healthcare market. This includes dentists, alternative healthcare providers, estheticians, chiropractors, and eventually hospital systems. Finally, looking down at our regional breakdown, most of our focus has been in North Carolina and will probably continue to be there, but we do see some more opportunities to leverage our existing customers to grow revenue for our Michigan clients, our Ohio clients, and hopefully get some referrals from them to grow into those markets. For these other ones, we're not as focused on targeting these specific regions. We're less inclined to focus on the Western states as they represent a very small portion of our overall revenue. However, given that we're based in North Carolina and that's where a lot of our revenue is coming from, we are planning to expand into Virginia and South Carolina and other states in the Southeast. In addition, we have a decent amount of business in the Midwest, so we might consider opening a satellite office in that area. Now that you've seen some simple first-hand examples of our CRM export, what is your CRM data telling you? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe for more data-driven demand content.